More studios checking in and you know we in the studio manifesting our own reality. To get to your destination, it takes consistency. But in order to be consistent in anything you do, you first have to be somewhat decent, good, or exceptional before you start being consistent. Because when we're consistent, doing something consistent in an improper way, it doesn't breed any results. And you might as well just take a detour because you're not getting anywhere closer to your destination. Throughout every aspect of our lives, it takes consistency, whether it takes, whether it being going to the gym, cooking, reading, anything you wanna do consistently, you just have to implement a system where it's set up that you have to do that activity every single day. I was doing, I was watching a video, I don't remember who said it, but in order to form a habit, in order to develop a hobby that stays with you, set a timer for two minutes and only do that hobby for two minutes. You may think this is crazy or what is two minutes gonna do? Two minutes is not a, month, a good amount of time, but all you need is two minutes to get you in that flow to bring you to your destination. See, it's not about finishing or it's not about doing such an elaborate, creative body of work. It's more about implementing a system, implementing a practice that gets you up to five minutes, that gets you up to 10 minutes, that gets you up to an hour without you even realizing it. So say you want to start painting, say you want to start learning a language. Get a timer and set the clock for just two minutes. Only two minutes, no more. I don't wanna hear any excuses about how you have no time. This life is so short, there's only 24 hours in a day, I'm so busy. I don't wanna hear none of that. All you need is two minutes to become consistent at anything you do. Try planking for just two minutes. Try working out for just two minutes. Pro Try writing and journaling for just two minutes. Chances are you wanna go over and exceed that two minutes. And that's the idea. That's the plan. All it takes is two minutes to become consistent. If you have the discipline to give yourself two minutes outside of your day to focus on your goals. It's almost I don't like using the word impossible, but it's almost impossible for you to just do an activity for just two minutes, especially if you're passionate about it. If you're passionate about anything, just becoming better, a better musician, becoming better at the saxophone, becoming better at push-ups, or becoming a better painter, just take two minutes each day. Start with two minutes. We think of things in such a grand, large scale that it becomes almost discouraging when you put our face forward to try and conquer that goal. We have to think of goals in subsets. Just like when we go to the gym and we have sets of three, sets of five, sets of two. This is how we have to look when attaining our goals. Take music. For an example, and you're a writer, let's say you're a writer and you want to put out an album soon, but you have writer's block, you have creator's block, right? I experienced that as well. Just start writing anything for two minutes. That can be any, that could be the two minutes that all you need to get your creative juices flowing. Once you have this creative juice in your mind, you use that juice and drip it all over your life. You take that creative juice, you put it in your second verse of your song, or you take that creative juice and you put it as the album cover. It's all these minor steps you take each day that gets you closer to your destination. We lay brick by brick by brick. You can lay one brick each day. It may take longer to achieve the goal, but you're working smarter. You're working more efficiently. 
and the quality of work is there. Remember what I said, be consistent, but do consistency well. Because if you're doing a terrible job, you could do 100 push-ups a day, but if your 100 push-ups have shitty form, there's no purpose in doing the 100 push-ups consistently. Pace yourself. So when you first start in whatever you, whatever endeavor you want to partake in, learn it well first before you keep doing it consistently. Because if we keep doing subpar work consistently, we'll become more frustrated when we don't see the results we get, we want. So remember that consistency is king, but the quality of work is better. So if you could find the balance, find that ma'at of quality and quantity, mesh them together, you'll become unstoppable. You'll become unstoppable. And then whatever you desire will come to you. Things are not built overnight. You have to lay it brick by brick. So what I want you to do in this life is to flex your muscles. You flex these muscles by knowing thyself, being consistent and putting out quality work in anything you do. You could even be a bus driver. Make sure you're the damn best bus driver in the world. You're supposed to be the best at everything you do in this life. Once you try to aim to be the best in whatever you do in your life, watch how life rewards you. And I'm gonna leave y'all on that note. Purchase the book, The Cage Bird Still Flies Out Now. Link is in the bio. And if you enjoyed this video, like, share, comment, subscribe. And until next time, you guys be well. One.